If I were to have any one superpower, I would pick water manipulation or hydrokinesis. I have a strong affinity toward water to begin with, and it would be kind of cool if I could manipulate rain or large bodies of water. I could make a whirlpool or a tidal wave. You can use water manipulation to go into great depths in water that you would normally be able to because one can control the water pressure. You can even trap air in a bubble so that you can breathe underwater. You can take different water droplets and bring them together and create something. And because it's nearly incompressible, it can be used as a cutting tool. You can make weapons, self-defense, or maybe an offensive tool. Um, another thing that it could be used for, if one is so inclined to, is you could rip the water out of people's bodies. Humans are made of mostly water. We are basically sacks of water, and it could be used to manipulate others or threaten once again, self-defense. There are so many different things you can do with water because our world is made of mostly water. You can jet water, whips of water. You can bind an opponent in water, um, tie them up. You can dehydrate them by removing the water from their body. You can change the weather, summon rain or hail or snow could form clouds, or you can even slide on water. Maybe if you had really developed your water skill, you could create ice, change the temperature of the water. And another power that could be taken from water controlling is blood controlling. You may use your own blood as a weapon, or once again, do similar things to other people. I'd prefer to stick with water, though. If I were to have this power, I would use it to definitely change the weather. I'm not sure if I would always make it sunny because I enjoy the rain and I would use this power to create the perfect rain and the right density of water droplet. It's not too heavy but not too light so that you can get yourself completely soaked. The water that feels really wet. I'd also use my power to go to breathe underwater, to explore places that you couldn't normally explore. I would use it to transport me places. I could jet water and use it as it hits a wall to go further places, get to class faster, or I can slide across it. Um, I wouldn't use it. I wouldn't use my powers to fight evil. Although water manipulation is one where not many other powers are needed, where if you're going to be a superhero, it's kind of needed to have more than one power. They kind of complement each other, and water manipulation kind of has that all in its own little package. There are so many different things you can use it for. You can use it as a shield, you can use it as a weapon, as a form of transportation. There's just so much that can be used that it could be used for. The hero, or he's an antagonist, so I guess he's more of a villain, that I found who uses water manipulation is Alex. And he's from Golden Sun. And I'm definitely drawn to him. He's the way even manipulates water. It's just very interesting. He, His goal is to kind of become omnipotent and have many different powers, which using water manipulation he already has quite a bit, and you can manipulate it in other ways and hone your abilities. And uh, I'm just very drawn to him, although he's kind of sinister. He's not really doing it for evil. It's just kind of self oriented. He's all about himself and making himself more powerful, which I suppose it's kind of odd to say that I'm more attracted to a villain than a hero, but I am definitely drawn toward him. And that is
is all I have to say on that.